What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here, about to jump on the Bangkok Bagger, going to pick up Arab Honey, because we're going to go out and grab a beer. And let me tell you, a lot easier to transport the helmet in this bike than it was on Road King Kong, although this is what everybody told me to do, and I'm just like, man, I cannot believe I didn't think about transporting a helmet like that, and I balanced it on a tank instead. Of course, moot point on the mail order glide. All right, last time it was Shishawu or Shishkawu, the Arabic chicken. Uh, everybody says she's got another, she's whooping up another treat for me. She says she has all the ingredients this time. Last time when I went to pick her up for beer and motorcycle rides, I had to end up going to the grocery store, which is about the least biker thing I can think to do. But uh, she promises this time she's got everything she needs, although she wouldn't tell me what she's got for me. I also want to point out last time when she said she was cooking food for me, that food required 16 hours of marination. So <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be eating exactly when I get to her house. Cora, ambulance, please. Okay, hold on. Where does it hurt? Ah, uh, my stomach. What's up, nerds? Eric Honey here. Today we're gonna make something a little different. A banana split, the traditional way, with all the fixin'. But it's gonna have a little treat at the end. I can't tell you yet, but I'm really excited for this one. <laughs> not your traditional way. Okay. I have a dog. Hey, not cool, man. Rut, 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 you like that? Anyway, ah! Okay, up here at Arab Honey's apartment and she's making me a banana split, which is not exactly what I expected before we went out and riding motorcycles and drinking. Like, this is almost as bad as having to go to the grocery store. Yeah. But also, uh, I'm sorry, I also love ice cream. <laughs> so I'm down, but seriously, what's, uh, what's that for? Secret ingredient. I'm telling you, don't need to why did I come here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, I just made my special banana split. Josh is gonna sample it. It's got a little secret ingredient on top. Uh, is this punishment for rating your Jar Jar Binks chicken four out of five? Like, I don't know, are you serious with this right now? Yes. It's a fine line between love and hate over here because I can't tell which one is happening, okay? <laughs> and I'm not even sure which one's better. Yep. If you All say the so, all right, let's get some banana in there too. Okay, how Mary, is it? what the, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, now that my body is full of easy cheese and strawberry ice Hell cream, yeah. let me tell you, this pretty face ain't the only thing that's giving me butterflies right now. It's a, no, I might throw up actually. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's fill our stomachs full of beer and ride motorcycles. Actually, we're just riding motorcycles right down the street. Uh, some of uh, Arab Honey's friends over here have a podcast, and I said, hey man, I love talking shit. Let's do it. up here at the Ritz above you. What's the podcast called again? Rooster Call? Yeah. All right, Rooster Call podcast here at the Ritz. <laughs> Too many stairs for old Shade Tree Surgeon, all right? Let me tell you, I'm not fat, but I'm luxury size, baby, okay? Yeah. I'm built for comfort, not for speed. Yeah. Yo. Hey. Oh, shit. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what's happening, man? Yeah, all right, well, after that uh, delicious, horrendous, Horrendous, I mean, I actually didn't mind it. Cheesy milk. <laughs> yeah, after that uh, cheesy banana split that oh, wow. Arab Honey served me over here, uh, we thought we were gonna go out on the town, but uh, think again, I actually have to go work. <laughs> Thankfully, not for very long. We just got doing an, done doing an unboxing with Shaylisi over here. That was a lot of fun, lots of cool stuff. Huge thanks, especially to Soros native dad and Tango 165. You guys knocked it out of the park. So, we're not gonna get to go out. We gotta go to the Dirty Shame and open up for Kirby rats and wrath on Instagram but when you work at a bar even going to work is 
kind of going out. Right, we've got Arab honey safe and secure in the baby seat over here on the Mormon glide. Do I actually have somebody comment the other day to go like, I'm a former Mormon, and the fact that you call it the Mormon glide, because no touching of the bodies here. <laughs> they go, they loved it. <laughs> Arab honey in charge of the tunes on the gold wing right now. We got heaven blasting through 1989 speakers on our way to the dirty shame to see old rats and rat, Kirby Kelsey. She hasn't been on the channel in a while, but I will tell you, Kirby Kelsey, one of my closest friends. Me and Rats and Wrath, we've got a pretty awesome collaboration coming up that I'm super excited to show you guys. Eh, Arab Honey might not be super happy about uh, me not uh, keeping my word on taking her out, but after that banana split she fed me with the cheese whiz on it, I, you know what? <laughs> I freaking, I'm not gonna feel too bad, okay? I got promised some delicious food and I got a cheese whiz banana split. She got promised a night out and instead we're going to work you know the banana split will make a turd and at my work there's still beer the dirty shame baby and kirby's already here waiting for me hey sorry <laughs> Well, it ain't five o'clock yet. We're up here at the Dirty Shame. Arab Honey got herself a beer. I've been working, but let me tell you, it's time for me to stop working. It's time for you to start working, okay? Can I get a, can I get a beer? Or, actually, maybe this. Let me tell you, dude, we all simp for rats and rats. All right, look at her. Oh my God, dude. Could something more perfect exist? If it does, I'll call you a liar, baby. Like they always say, tattoos have to mean something. This is my favorite one. <laughs> my body is a canvas. This is my art. This is my story. Dude, someone was like, oh, nice Slipknot tattoo. I was like, what? <laughs> I want some ambrosia, nectar of the gods, baby. Miller High Life. But I've made uh, one too many passes at Kirby, and she's not opening beers for me anymore. So Whatever shall I do? <laughs> you <fuck that. laughs> that was sick. I mean, it opened it. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. Captain Skullgan. Captain Skullgan, get one of your own. All right, everyone's got their food. I wanted to eat something that didn't make me look like an asshole. Although it's hard for me not to look like an asshole in general, so I just got meatballs and orzo. Even when I'm at a Greek place, I I really just want spaghetti and meatballs. All right. <laughs> Delicious. Air honey over here says you've got to try the chicken formal with garlic sauce. And when it comes to yeah, when it comes to Arabic food, uh, she usually doesn't steer me wrong. She says you can have a bite of this. Nice. Hell yeah. Dude, yes. <laughs> Delicious. All right, delicious food over here at Acropolis. We're doing the Ebor crawl because we've just left, sh left sh Dirty Shame. If I can speak, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we've just left Dirty Shame. We're going to do the Rooster Call podcast once again because believe it or not, this is a different day yeah. <laughs> from, from the day that I, uh, I had to eat cheesy banana splits. So uh, we Rooster Call podcast in about 45 minutes, which means uh, we've got a, uh, We've got about a couple more beers to get here on the strip on the way up there. All right. Yeah, Rooster yeah. Call podcast about five blocks away from the Dirty Shame. We should arrive fashionably late. Yo, what the fuck? We just like roll up here to the Rooster Call podcast and sham. Are you kidding me? Are we going to miss champagne drip? Hell Dude, no. no. Champagne drip? Right. Do they have a venereal disease or are they doing drugs? <laughs> I'm not sure which one it is. Which kind of drip are we talking about here? Come on, do a wheelie. Who wants to be on YouTube? None of these motherfuckers, all right? No. Oh, that guy, he wants it. Hey! <laughs> All right, it's the next day. Uh, Arab Honey and I were up late last night packing all your orders and decorating them. And let me tell you, normally we'd be doing this on the motorcycle, but as you can tell from what Arab Honey's wearing over there, no, that's not a camo hijab, okay? That is a, that's a, that's a raincoat. <laughs> it it kind of looks like that, all right? So uh, you can definitely tell which packages that Arab Honey decorated here because uh, she's a big fan of clowns. And uh, you know, she actually managed to slip some of her own stuff 
stickers in there. She does have her own stickers. And I kept telling her, like, nobody wants your stickers. They're here for Shade Tree Surgeon and Brap Star stickers, all right? Damn so I put your crap in there. But I'm still pretty sure she managed to slip a few in the packages I when be I like wasn't the cool looking. Kid. <laughs> so you might have one or two. Uh, if you do get one of Arab Honey's stickers, like I said, she didn't get in all of them, but I did I did catch her putting them in a few. Make sure to tag her on Instagram if you get it or if you even know who she is. I mean, you guys are here for the real star, right? Socks with the Gucci slides. <laughs> Stop playing records, baby. All right, well, where are you going? You think I'm carrying that in? Oh, yeah. Look at all these packages. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, um, I don't know exactly how this is going to go. I think I'm going to make Arab Honey drop them off up there because I'm public enemy number one at the post office. They already really don't like me here. Also, that box that we have there, you're not supposed to have that. that yeah, that's theirs. We're not supposed to have that, but it just seemed very convenient. I always use it at the post office, but it does have like, this is a felony to take this outside of the oh. post office written all over it. So okay. I don't know if they're going to ask for it back. Let's hope not because it's really convenient. Yeah, no, it's super quiet. And there was, there was no one there was none at the counter to yell at me. So we're leaving with the box again. Technically, the girl in the camo hijab is stealing the box, not me. <laughs> all right, y'all, you're in the hands of the USPS now. All right, y'all, I'm here at the Dirty Shame getting it ready for another night of debauchery. And also, I think that's gonna about do it for this video. I appreciate you guys coming along. Make sure you go subscribe to Arab Honey. Check out uh, her version of today's events. Uh, today's very, very strange events. Or, well, not one day. I mean, the videos are always like three or four days long, but uh, it's been a weird week. But hey, come on, weird weeks. That's how we like it around here, all right? So make sure you go show Arab Honey some support. She's helping us out a lot around here. Not to mention that uh, I think she's making pretty damn good content as well. Before I go to, I want to remind you guys that we do have the Forgotten Angels camp out, the Weirdo camp out, the Rap Star camp out. Everything's got to have six names with me. You know how I do it. It's coming up. It's going to be the weekend of October 22nd. So October 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Forgotten Angels compound. If you're wondering where it is, all you have to do is Google Forgotten Angels. It'll come right up. It's on Little Stern's Road. But I'm also going to have all the info down below. You can come in Friday. You can camp till Sunday. There's going to be free food. There's going to be free beer. It's going to be an awesome freaking time. All you got to do is bring a tent and come with a powerful thirst, okay? I've even got the final design for the camp out uh, t-shirt now. And I think it turned out pretty good if you ask me. Keep Florida shady, baby. You know how we do it. And uh, the one I'm going to show here on YouTube is obviously the censored version. But it will be in full display at the camp out. I don't know if I made a, the right decision with David and Cindy and uh, their very wholesome activities with having a nude drunk cowgirl on a Harley Davidson next to an alligator as the poster and the shirt for their camp out. But that's what we did. That shirt is going to be available only at the camp out. Now, if there's any left over, of course, I'll put them on brapstar.com. I've still got stuff available on there right now, but I'm only going to put on there what I have left over after the camp out. And if you've been keeping up with the videos, you'll know that the Weirdo Camp Out, the Brap Star Camp Out, is coinciding with Southbound and Down, which is just an absolutely awesome chopper fest. Put on by my good friend Sean Zinn. It's gonna be at the Showman's Bar, or Showtown, Showtown the Bar. There will be a ride to Southbound and Down, the Hangover Ride, Saturday, from the Forgotten Angels Camp Out to Showtown to experience Southbound and Down. It's a freaking hell of a time, let me tell you. John knows how to throw a good party, all right? So there's gonna be people, chopper people from his, uh, from his show camping out at Forgotten Angels as well. All you guys are welcome because camping is free. And once again, you guys know why we're all doing this for Forgotten Angels. It is a charity that benefits children who have aged out of the foster care system. We're currently raffling off a 2020 stage four Road King, the Road King Kong with a 131. It's 25 bucks a ticket. 100% of that goes directly to Dave and Cindy and directly to benefit Forgotten Angels and all these kids to help them build tiny homes, to help them buy cars and motorcycles and give them the start in life that they never got from their parents if they even had parents. That's one of the reasons I really like this camp out too because when it comes to donating money to charity, sure it's a raffle ticket, so yeah, you might win the bike. It's not like we sold that many, so I, I would like, I'd like to sell some more, but yeah, you might win the bike, but at the end of the day, you can feel good about it. It's gambling for a good cause. It's bad people doing good things. And here's the thing. You don't have to take my word for it. You don't. You can come to the camp out. You can come to the Forgotten Angels property and the kids live out there. They live in their tiny homes out there. Dave and Cindy will be there. 
like you can go out there and you can see exactly where every penny of your donation went and you know it doesn't go to some board of directors it doesn't go to freaking pay for advertising it doesn't go anywhere but directly to benefit these kids and in this day and age of shady charities i think that that's uh that's pretty rare and it's very commendable and don't take my word for it come out the weekend of october 22nd and see for yourself all right, y'all, I'm going to have some uh, all the info down below and some links down below to brapstar.com. I'll also have the info there if you just want a place where you can always go and find it. But that's going to do it for this one. Till next time, y'all, keep it weird.